I'm Bree, and this is TJ. In 2017, we decided to break away from the norm and travel the U.S. in our custom 4x4 van and Airstream. We loaded up our two dogs, Madly and Brody, and hit the road. We quickly realized life on the road is full of surprises, and our name-embracing detours fit our new life perfectly. Please subscribe, and welcome to the adventure. We say goodbye to Omaha and travel about an hour away and say hello to Lincoln. staying at another harvest host. It's a car museum. We're just pulling into our spot now. TJ's backing up. I'm making sure he doesn't hit anything. I think this is good. What'd you do with my keys? <laughs> Did I everyone... Left, I left them in Death Valley. I left our spare set of keys on the propane cover when we left Death Valley and appeared to have lost them. Did everyone see that face? <laughs> ah, it's the like real having a TJ. child. Yes. You gotta keep track of everything. I found them, thanks a lot. Well, unfortunately, this harvest host is closed due to COVID. They're still nice enough to be letting people camp here, even though we can't visit the museum. I think, I think you're a little disappointed in that, weren't you? I am. I was looking forward to this museum. I actually, back in the day when I used to work on cars, I used to buy products from them. So yeah. to see their collection would have been pretty cool. But it is what it is, and it's, I'm thankful that they're letting us stay here. So. I agree. Uh, yeah, so TJ's getting the bikes out and we're gonna go explore Lincoln by bike. You guys keep the house safe, okay? Love ya. Good. We came to Lincoln, which is the capital of Nebraska, and we're doing something we typically don't do when we go to a capital city is checking out the capital building. Yeah, this one is unique because it is a tower, and I believe most capital buildings are domes. In fact, I think this is only one of four state capital buildings that is a tower, so yep. unique in that way. Where we're staying is, I don't know, four or five miles across town, and it's just like a beacon standing out in the skyline. You can see it from, from a long way off. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it is. At one point, it was actually the tallest building in Nebraska. Our 16th president greets us as we approach the Capitol's west entrance. This Lincoln Monument was constructed to honor the man whom the city was named after, and was a precursor to the efforts of the same sculptor and architect team who later created the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. TJ, I'm gonna need you yes. to... <laughs> We're in the elevator, and it's the smallest elevator ever. Where are we headed? 14th floor, all the way to the top. This elevator make me look skinny. I got in a little elevator. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that guy in a little coat. for Capitol buildings to be this gorgeous. But if it is, we've been missing out. This is incredible, beautiful. Can you believe how pretty this is? I know, this is amazing. It really is. It is really incredible. just did the free tour that they offer here at the State Capitol building and it was fascinating. Yeah, very informative, great tour. Yeah, absolutely. We learned all kinds of super interesting things. You can only remember like a fraction of them. but right. They actually built this Capitol here three times. The first two times they built it out of sandstone, which was a material that couldn't withstand the elements, wouldn't hold up, so it ended up starting to crumble. <laughs> they didn't learn is, that the first time. <laughs> which is why they ended up building this third one which is made out of Indiana limestone. I also learned during the tour that Nebraska was the first state after the Civil War and so when they chose this location for the capital they actually named this or renamed the city here Lincoln to pay homage to Abraham Lincoln. Yes yeah, so I found that really interesting. Uh, it was it was really great. Right. We don't normally get into state capitals. Yeah, really. I don't <laughs> but know. But this building in specific, it has just beautiful artwork in it, and it's all related to local things. It's really yeah. cool. If you yeah. get, get through Lincoln, definitely give it a shot <laughs> and take the tour because the tour is very interesting. Yeah, it was. It definitely added so much to our experience here to learn all of that history. Headed out of our harvest host this morning. Um, it's been an okay stop for us. It's uh, just a parking lot in an industrial area, you know, not a winery or brewery or farm. So, you know, it was very nice of them to let us spend the night here, uh, but I think it's time to move on. Uh, so yeah, just one night in Lincoln, but before we head out of here, we are gonna uh, do a drive through the Haymarket District get some donuts for breakfast. We normally avoid pulling the trailer for errands like these, but we couldn't get donuts yesterday on the bikes because there's no easy way to carry them. And uh, we didn't want to unhook just to get donuts. So we decided let's try it, but <laughs> we just pulled down a one-way street the wrong direction <laughs> thankfully it wasn't a busy street and we could like make a quick u-turn and get headed in the right direction but geez Louise. So everyone told us that this Hertz Donuts is a must stop in the Lincoln area. Yep, we were told that in North Carolina once and it was Duck Donuts there. <laughs> and it was a definite. Do you remember what our favorite donut was from Duck Donuts? It was the maple bacon donut. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hoagie roll. <laughs> the craziest thing I've ever seen. TJ's reaction when I pulled it out. It's I've... like a French bread pizza. Can I use your knife? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to use my phone. knife for that. Yeah? Uh oh, we're out of dad napkins. <laughs> oh, I got one. Find one? Alright. I'm pretty yummy. 
I love the combination of salty and sweet together. If I'm being honest, I think the duck donuts is better. It's good. It's just not as good, I don't think. Yeah, I think the duck donuts was better. With our exit from Lincoln, that's our exit from Nebraska, actually. It is, yep. Yeah. It, good way to good way to go out. <laughs> absolutely. I have been so impressed with Nebraska. You know, I get the feeling like like Nebraska has to try harder <laughs> because it doesn't have the Rocky Mountains. It doesn't have an ocean. You know, it doesn't have some amazing, I, I, not to say that Nebraska isn't beautiful, but it just doesn't have. It doesn't have that wow factor that you find in like Colorado or Wyoming because because the Rocky Mountains are there. But right. it definitely has its charms. Well, and I feel, yeah, it does. And I feel like because in those sorts of states, the things to do are get outside and explore the mountains or the oceans or whatever. Since Nebraska doesn't have that, they've made up for it by having all of these amazing museums and just lots of really incredible things I'm, to do. I mean, if I'm being honest, I think Nebraska has some, uh, you know, geographical features that are nice. The sand hills were beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a long drive through a lot of rolling hills, <laughs> but it, it's beautiful. It yeah. really is. And Western Nebraska was Scott's Bluff. And, Scott's Bluff was great. Yeah. yeah. And we've missed certainly plenty of mm -hmm. things as well. You know, we've been here maybe a couple of weeks and we've done our best to, to see as much of it as we can, but we always miss something. It's inevitable. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so we're actually headed south today yes, we into another new state, Kansas. Yep. We made it a point when we were planning our route back to Florida this year to hit some of these Midwestern states that I feel like tend to get kind of neglected in people's travels. Yeah. Most times when we're headed back east from, you know, from the West Coast, we tend to get on the highway and kind of blast through these states and this year we decided we wanted to make a real effort to include them because it's part of the U.S. and we've never been there and right. we felt like we should. So. Right, exactly. So we're excited about what's coming up in our travels uh, and saying goodbye to Nebraska. It's been great. We've had a good time. Your donuts are really good. <laughs> Thanks for the send off with the great donuts. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, we've had a wonderful time. Nebraska ended up being better than we ever imagined, and a good reminder to not judge a book by its cover. As always, a big thank you to our patrons whose support help make these videos possible. If you'd like to help support the production of our videos, please head over to patreon.com forward slash embracing detours. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.